What's up, family? Welcome back to another legendary Top of the Move reaction video. Let's go. Did you see what happened at the WNBA All-Star Game? It was pure electricity. The WNBA team simply dominated Team USA, and guess who also shined? Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. But Shout out to Caitlin Clark, CC in the building, man. Shout out to Angel, Angel Reese as well. You know, ain't no shade. Ain't no hating like she hating, but CC fan over here all day. Wait, there's more to this story. Cheryl Reeve, the coach of Team USA, had something to say before the game. Media exposure. Is there any second guessing here about not having Clark on the Olympic team? Uh, from me? Uh, no. Yeah, it looks like someone underestimated the rookie sensation and ended up losing to the WNBA team. Definitely. She's a hater. That's all. Reeve, the hater. That's what we're going to call it. By the way, Clark not only played well, she broke the assist record. And Reese, she pulled off a double-double that left everyone stunned. Subscribe to the channel because in this video, we're going to break down everything that happened in this epic game. I'll go over the performances of Clark, Reese, and how Cheryl Reeves' strategy backfired. There's controversy, records, twists, everything we love about basketball. What? Look at Griner. We need to start by addressing the elephant in the room, Cheryl Reeve. For those who don't know, she is the coach of the USA Olympic team. Days before the All-Star Game, Reeve made some pretty controversial statements about Caitlin Clark. But why all the animosity? Well, we don't know exactly. What we do know is that Clark made history in this All-Star Game. Let's get to the numbers. Clark set the record with 10 assists for rookies in the All-Star Game. That's right, in her first All-Star appearance, she nearly broke a record that many veterans haven't even come close to. Bro, if, you, if this is not self-explanatory that she's the rookie of the year, bro, I don't know what ain't. Clark showed game vision, precision in passing, and an incredible ability to read the court. She not only distributed the game, but did so in a way that elevated the performance of the entire WNBA team. And you know what's even more impressive? She did all this under enormous pressure. Just imagine, her first appearance in the All-Star game after all the controversy with Reeve and with the eyes of the entire basketball world on her. Many people would have crumbled, but Clark shined. Mm -hmm. This WNBA team's victory not only silenced the critics, but also raised an important question. How can someone with this talent be left out of the Olympics? Clark's performance in Because haters with the powers they'll be sitting there advocating, acting like they trying to not hate, but they indirectly hating, and it's obviously being shown, and they sitting there using her little coaching power and her little Team USA position as a coach to be like, oh, is there any doubt for me? No. Like, bro, you a hater. That's why. In the first half of the season was certainly Olympic worthy. But besides Clark, we have to talk about Angel Reese. While Clark dominated with assists, Reese showed why she is considered one of the most promising rookies in the league. Reese managed an impressive double-double, scoring 12 points and grabbing 11 rebounds. And don't think these were easy rebounds. Many of them came from the attack, with Reese outpacing her opponents and positioning herself perfectly to get the ball. What makes this performance even more notable is that Reese started the game on the bench. She wasn't in the starting lineup, but when she entered the court, she made sure to show why she deserved to be there. Now, let's talk about the MVP of the game, Ariki Ogunbowale. If Clark and Reese represented the future, Ogunbowale showed that the present of the WNBA is also brilliant. She had a simply spectacular performance. Hmm, shout out to her. Shout out to the MVP, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no hating over here. You earned what you earned, you earned it. Uh, hmm, can't get mad. Finishing the game with 34 points. But the most impressive part? She made 8 out of 13 three-pointers. That's right. The numbers are impressive on their own. But those who watch the game know they don't tell the whole story. Ogunbowale wasn't just making open shots. She was creating space, doing step-backs, and hitting shots from long distance, often with defenders right on her. Her performance was crucial for the WNBA team's victory. Every time Team USA threatened to make a comeback, mm. there she was with a three-pointer to maintain the lead. She didn't just score. She scored at the right moments. Ogunbowal's performance also highlights the depth of talent in the WNBA. We have Clark and Reese representing the future, 
but we also have players like Ogunbowale showing that the present of the league is in great hands. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about Team USA's performance. As you can see, the impact of her shooting from those who have those who are leading the future, such as Kaylin Clark and Andrew Reese, you can show you can you can see that the shooting, because Kaylin Clark is a shooter, bro. She can shoot that ball like 32 feet out, whatever. So you know what I'm saying? You can see the domino effect and the decisions of coach Cheryl Reeve. Despite their stellar lineup, Team USA couldn't effectively compete against the WNBA team. Players like Brianna Stewart and Aja Wilson had solid performances. Stewart scored 31 points and Wilson contributed 22 points and six rebounds, but it wasn't enough. The problem seemed to be more in the strategy and team chemistry. Where, where Diana at, Teresi, where's she at? Chemistry than in individual talent. Several players seemed lost on the court. The lack of cohesion was evident, especially when compared to the fluidity of the WNBA team's play. The criticism of Cheryl Reeve was intense after the game. Many questioned her player choices and, more importantly, her decisions during the match. Mm. One point of criticism was the lack of tactical adjustments throughout the game. Even with the WNBA team dominating, Reeve seemed reluctant to change her strategy. This contrasted sharply with the flexible and adaptive approach of the WNBA team coach, Cheryl Miller. This game raised serious- Oh, that's why I believe Cheryl Miller with her expertise. Boy, she should definitely coach the, the fever. Indiana fever, where Caitlin Clark- This question's about Team USA's preparation for the upcoming Olympics. If they can't dominate an all-star game, how will they fare against well-trained and motivated international teams? The defeat of Team USA is not just a surprising result. It's a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. It shows that individual talent is not enough. You need strategy, team chemistry, and strong leadership from the coaching staff. The clock is ticking, and the Paris games are approaching quickly. Yep, they better make some adjustments and make it fast. So, what does all this mean for the future of the WNBA and women's basketball in the USA? We are at a crucial turning point. Look at, look at Kaylin. Look at Cece over here. You know what I'm saying? Like a fly every time she walk by. On one hand, we have Clark and Reese, two rookies who have just proven they can not only compete but dominate on a stage with they the best players on. in the world. They represent a new generation of talent coming to the league with exceptional skills and a winning mentality. On the other hand, we have the established Team USA, led by Cheryl Reeve. Comment down below, family. Do you guys believe that Team USA should have definitely put Andrew, Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark on the team? I feel like it's a no-brainer, bro. They, they, they playing phenomenal. This game is definitely a wake-up call. I don't know what they was thinking, bro. Who seems to be struggling to adapt to this new reality. The reluctance to recognize and embrace these new talents could cost them dearly in international competitions. The question that hangs in the air is, will Reeve and USA Basketball be able to make the choices that truly represent the best of American women's basketball? No. Or will we see talents like Clark being left out again for reasons beyond on-court performance? Yep. You will see talent left out again for reasons among a performance. The USA has a tradition of dominance in Olympic women's basketball. But this hegemony could be at risk in the upcoming Olympics if the right decisions are not made. This all-star game may have been just a preview of the drama to come. The tension between the old guard and the new generation, between tradition and innovation, is reaching a boiling point. And the outcome of this battle could very well determine the future of women's basketball in the United States and the world. Guys, what we saw in this all-star game was more than just an exhibition game. It was a glimpse into the future of women's basketball and a warning about the need for change. Mm -hmm. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese proved that the hype around them is more than justified. They not only competed on par with the veterans, but in many moments outperformed them. Mm -hmm. Clark nearly broke a historic ass Bro, they can't even catch Clark. They slow, bro. They're like turtles. And Angel Reese, I feel like she always going to have to rebound records. She better have with that type of height. Dist record, while Reese dominated the rebounds. Ariki Ogunbowale reminded us that the WNBA is full of established talents that continue to evolve and surprise. Mm -hmm.
Her MVP performance was simply spectacular and crucial for the WNBA team's victory. On the other hand, the performance of Team USA and Cheryl Reeves' decisions raised serious questions about their preparation for the Paris Olympics. It's time for USA basketball to reassess their strategies and player selection to ensure they are truly representing the best of American women's basketball. Mm. So, what did you think of this all-star game? I don't understand how you can represent the best and leave out the best. What does that sense of that mean? Game. Do you think Clark and Reese deserved a chance on the Olympic team? They no deserved, earned. Come on, bro. Don't talk that, bro. Or do you agree with Cheryl Reeves' current approach? Leave your opinions in the comments. I want to know what you who follow basketball closely think about all this. Your insights are super important to enrich this discussion. And if you enjoyed this analysis and want to stay on top of everything happening in the world of women's basketball, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Activate the notification bell too so you don't miss any videos. Family. The WNBA is going through an incredible moment and together we can follow and discuss every development in this exciting league. I don't know why the WNBA is going in a phenomenal direction. The trajectory has changed. Everything is up from, everything is going up in a positive way. I don't know why these old hags um, just be hating, bro. Like, I feel like if the WNBA don't get rid of these negative, pessimistic-minded people that sit here being haters and not making logical decisions but using a personal... Man, first of all, there's already women involved, bro. Women are emotional individuals. But, bro, if they're not logical, you need to get rid of them to keep this trajectory going and not make it flop. When the players are doing their part, they are being viable. The rookies are coming and they're showing... It's, it's being evidently shown, you know, from... From Mitchell to I can't say Wambe, whoever was the you know the MVP of the um, team W um, team WNBA versus Team USA, you know, and also Angel Reese killing the killing the boards, getting the rebounds and stuff. Come on, bro! Like, and Caitlin Clark doing an amazing job as she always does, phenomenal orchestrating the offense, doing a, plenty of assists, breaking assist assist records. Throwing passes, dimes, nothing like it, bro. So constantly, you know, land, you know, freelancing, running around, running back door, setting her teammates up, bro. Like, how can you not represent Team USA as strong as that, bro? Comment down below, family. Do y'all think you they need to remove Cheryl Reeve and they need that they should have already added Caitlin Clark and injuries, bro? Comment down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my feedback on it, the insight. And I'm curious to see you guys' insight. On that note, family, peace, man. And it pissed me off.